Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Skulk. Continuing the story of Maya Mori. Not her Amori, Maya Mori. This is our story. Also, for editing, or can I do it here? Audio? Background music? Let's tone it down a bit more. Because in editing, I always turn it down anyways, so... Let's do that. So we were gonna go off to see a pirate captain, or ex-captain, up here. This is sparkling. I got a can. Wait, recyclables. Recycling machine, what would you like to recycle? Can. Put a can in a recycling machine. Oh my god, oh my god! Where did this music go? It's so catchy. The recycling machine dispenses fine clans. Thanks for doing your part and keeping the environment clean. You're welcome! Gosh dang, that's... That is so dang sweet. Let's go. Oh, wait, are those beaks? Are these bird people? Oh, I thought that was like a beard or something. Unless it is a beard, it's just... Poking out, jetting out from your chin. Your face is protruding hair. Space pirate buddy. Buddy, it sucks that you had to come at a time like this. Oh, really? Captain's... I mean, space boyfriend hasn't left his bed since. She... She stopped coming around. Things are a little tough now. I don't care what anyone says, pal. I believe in the captain. Ah. Oh, each one of these. Oh, that's pal, and that's his bro. His boy's boyfriend. What could we do for you, bro? Why won't you leave your bed, mate? All I hear lately are the rest of the crew complaining about being bored. Am I the only one who kind of enjoys cleaning around here? Maybe. Uh, amigo. Eh, he's sleeping. Dang. If you have a... Isn't this is a staircase up to heaven? Because that's just play old space down there. You have a hole in your room. I mean, Space Boyfriend doesn't see, look so good. Don't worry, I'll handle this. Eh, eh, eh. Hey, Space Boyfriend! Wake up! Hell? <laughs> what? Some way to help him. <coughs> oh, my sweetheart. Where have you run off to now? Space guy. Oh, no, not again. Space boyfriend's feeling the heavy blues. Here we go. This will cheer you right up. Anything playing? Uh, um, uh, where, where's it? Where's the tape? Oh no, the boombox is empty. He's never gonna wake up now, or even worse, he's gonna wake up angry. Uh, uh, um, oh man, oh man, where could that special mixtape be? I put all my favorites on it, the ones he and I jammed to every Tuesday night. Someone must have thrown it away special mixtape when we were cleaning. I don't know. I think I know who he was liking cleaning. I know who to talk to. What's the big deal? 
It's just a cassette, right? Well, you see, whenever Space Boyfriend is all away from Sweetheart, he gets really sad and lies in bed all day. Well, here's the thing I want to state, in short, because I know I seem to ramble. You can love someone, and your feelings can be very great when you feel a certain way as someone. But one thing you should know is that you should feel comfortable even with yourself. You, sh you could feel sad or lonely without them, but you should not crumble and fall pieces when they're not around or not with you anymore. You need to stand strong, even on your own. Thing is, I've been alone for a long time, and only recently, like a year ago, I found someone, or I should say, they found me, and I'm I'm very happy I found them. They're so just they're such a sweetheart. But I know that if I'm not talking with her, I know I can still be strong. I know it can still be me. But then again, everyone is different. And I just want to say this is words of encouragement. Stand strong on your own as well. People admire people like that. There's only one in, in the universe like it. Not like I can't make a new one, but, you know. Music still stands out there, unless, unless, it's just like my experience when I wanted to listen to some music online that I enjoyed, and I look back on the line going, ah, oh, I missed this song, let me hear it again, and it was removed. The song I enjoyed was removed from the internet. The tragedy. Oh, I see. Space Boyfriend isn't sick. He's lovesick. <sighs> when Space Boyfriend stays like this, the Great One... Col... Col... Colation? How do you say that word? That's Space Pirates who will be lost for eternity. Until you find a better, uh, a, not better, sorry. Another captain. Oh man, it sucks. Well, let's go. Or, well, let's go. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? We should help him out. You should know what, that it really sucks to lose something important to you. Don't you dare bring Hector into this. I'm talking about when you stole my stuffed toy. Huh? I don't remember anything like that. <coughs> oh, sweetheart. My perfect goddess. Okay, that's heavy praise. That's heavy praise. <coughs> My sweet jelly-filled donut. Okay, <laughs> okay. Now we're getting cringy. But, you know, everyone has their own sweet names. I think he's getting worse. What, sh what should we do, Amori? Should we help him? Of course! This is being like, everything should be alone on their own. And, okay, another little tidbit that I've learned in my life. Teach a man a fish, no, sorry, give a man a fish, and he'll be hungry, uh, he'll be fed for a day. Teach a man a fish, and he'll be fed for life. In this circumstance is, if, No, it doesn't even fit here either. I was gonna go with the statement that if you do something for someone, they won't get stronger for it. But then again, some people, lots of people, learn from experiences and from guidance from others. Because if I didn't know, I'm autistic, mind you. And through my life, and this is something I wouldn't mind rambling on, like, this is just like a statement. Through my life, I have done lots of mistakes that I thought was normal or fine, but my mom pulled me aside and told me what I did wrong. Eventually grew up in fear of whenever my mom told me, uh, told me that you did something wrong, you, you need to do something more like this or something like that. I was thinking I was just constantly doing something wrong in my life. I grew in fear of that. But as I got older, I... Let's just say that recently, a friend of mine had a boyfriend that has autism. But he used it as a crutch, as a blame, stating that this is, it's, it's, I'm acting like this because of my autism. So don't blame me for how I act. Apparently, from what uh, my friend said, the boyfriend's mother gave up 
on trying to guide him, teach him about autism and what's about his autism and what he should probably act like. And if if my mom didn't pull me aside to tell me what I did wrong, to mold me of who I am now, I probably, maybe, would have ended up like that guy. Not knowing what I did was wrong. Thinking it was them, that they were just being mean. So, for those of you that are struggling like that out there, that don't have guidance, or didn't have guidance, and this isn't just about autism, but any guidance in their life of what is right and wrong, or what they probably could do, should do. It, you should thank them, or be grateful that of where you are today, if you had any life lessons with anyone you came across. It's, it's very help. It's very nice when someone lends a helping hand. So yes, I'm going to say yes. Thanks. Thanks, my guys. I really appreciate it. Here, take this. Are you giving me the item finder from Pokemon? You got the junkyard key. Oh. Okay. That works. Ski unlocks the junkyard. Special mixtape should be somewhere in there. Woo! You have magic door opening powers? You're a portal master. <laughs> You get there through the secret entrance to Space Boyfriend's backyard. But, but we are on the top of a mountain. If I step through there, is it going to be a portal to a nice, grassy, lush land? Or is it going to make me fall off the cliff side? <laughs> this is pretty convenient, huh? Yeah. Let's hope. I just hope that I don't fall to my doom. <laughs> or drift off into space. Forgot those keys. Either ways, you did really well, Amari. Good job. I want to see Earth. The Earth looks peaceful. Would you like to disturb it? No! No, I did not! I would not like to disturb the inhabitants of all that live. Okay, I just need to click on you. Pluto, how you doing, buddy? I'm sorry I tried to smack your uh, uh, righty and make you sad earlier. Um, my bad. <laughs> Space dude. Uh, you really done it now, dude. I hope the captain won't get too uh, be too mad when we tell him his favorite planet is missing. Oh, that's not a silhouette. Pluto left. This is this is probably a tur this is probably like throwing a a shout out to the point that when scientists said that Pluto's no longer a planet, he probably got angry with his Saitama face. If you don't know who Saitama is, look it up. <laughs> but he probably got upset and left, thinking, if I'm not welcomed here, where am I welcome? And then I came along with my friends and started poking his right bicep. And then, of course, his right bicep didn't take it, it no, take too lightly on it and landed a sucker punch to my friends. <laughs> Grazed my right cheek. You know how he gets when he's angry. Buddy, you're not supposed to call him Captain anymore. You have to call him Space Boyfriend, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. Hey, what you doing over there? Uh, ah! You know, dude, sometimes I wonder if we're even space pirates anymore. Ever since the sweetheart came along, we haven't done anything cool. We should just quit and get real jobs. Don't talk nonsense, buddy. What is life for us if not the space pirate life? It's the only thing in existence now. Will they join it? Everything else in the past? Nothing. Ain't nothing. I can't even remember what my last life, past life was. I don't know. I don't know, about, I don't know why my voice just went this high. <laughs> I'm sure the captain will come to his uh, two senses one day and 
we'll all fly again. We just have to believe in him. <sighs> Thanks, dude. You're always there when I need you. Right behind me. Or beside me. Don't worry, Pluto. We'll bring you back. I'm not sure if I have to talk to you, be nice to you, or... Or something, because the only pacifist I route I've uh, come across in doing is by running away. Because other than that, I might uh, Omori might be stabbing you. Right in the heart! And I don't want to do... Ooh. Is the ground made of a pillow or cotton candy or a marshmallow? Because these things look like they're resting neatly. Jawbreakers resting, resting neatly into the ground. Ew. Wait, is that a banana? Can I have the banana? Why have been keeping Kyle Couch? No! Uh, run. No, it's a wormhole! No! It's called Space Bun Bun! Maybe he just wanted to take a picture. I don't know. I can see that mustache from behind! Maestro, my good man, I am looking for some art. Fear not, for I will know when I have found it. No rabbit. Wait, I see a watermelon. It's mine. Backpack? Hold on, wait a minute. Show me. Who's the backpack user? Aha! The convenient storage device, a plus two defense. Sure. Thank you. I wish it was like titled or colored or something to tell me which pocket it's in instead of me like guessing. I could go down. I'm a warm man. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's see. Where? What the? Marshmallow Man. Hello. Snaily. Lovely weather, isn't it? Yeah. Hey. Chirp chirps. Cheep. Otherworldly lake. Cheep cheep. Otherworldly campsite. Cheep 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 cheep. Junkyard. Thanks for the guidance. Can I sit on a bench? No. Well, that the. Mm. Where is the uh. No, space worm. That's a plant? A piranha for portions. Well, the junkyard's upwards, so that's where our quest is. We'll wander, uh. We'll wander around after we're done with Junkyard. Dodge. Dodge space wormhole. Wormhole. This. You need a Junkyard key. Oh. Oh. Right. We got a key. <laughs> it was, remember, it was a shortcut so we can wander around back to place. Is. That's a nice little font, by the way. I, I like this, uh. Nice. I like this font. It's really. Childlike, but very, I guess, welcoming. Is is Mari here in the junkyard? Oh, I uh, guess. Bye bye. I was about to say pine cone, but it's a rope cone. Rubber band. I do not want to slingshot that into anyone. Is this a bad watermelon? Gold. Wa is that a trinket I can put on someone? Who? does it go to? Ah! Most of... Uh, uh, finally, probably not really made of gold. Useless in battle. So it's a trinket that does nothing. Well, it's in battle, but not sure... Okay, I'll just wear it anyways. There you go, Cal. It's good music, though. This, even if I turn it down, this is good music. My god, granola bar. Mmm. Nutrition. Delicious nutrition. Can I go inside? Oh, that was automatic. So this is a junkyard, eh? Time to start digging. What are we looking for again? These boyfriends met special make tape. Right out. This is a lot of junk. Hey, look! I found a can! You got a can. We did get a can! 
Thanks for thanks for stating that again. <sighs> I guess it's start. I'd say I guess it's a start. Okay, another can. Last bottle. More recycled labels. Every one of these is gonna turn into money one day. No, no, I'm down here. You're up there. Don't, don't know. Don't no no. Don't you no know, no. Oh, it's an angry boom box. Maybe it wasn't happening when it got thrown away. Gotta get the can! Get the can! Ah! Yes! Cardboard! Oh, I got away! I got away! Hold on, hold on. No, wait. No. Ah, no! Kel digs through the trash and Kel didn't find anything. We found the uh, possessed tapes. Possessed cassette. Airborne? No, 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 ah, no, 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 Chap. Chap. Chippity. Sappity. But there's nothing here. Why would I need to come down? Okay, never mind. It doesn't have to. Oh man. It looks like this big block of junk in the way. <laughs> you might even call it a roadblock. Get it? <laughs> Genius comedian here! Not to worry, anyone. This big old block is nothing compared to my swing. Hey, Mori. You know how you can cut roots, uh, roots in traffic cones? Well, you're not the only one with special ability around here. <laughs> I, for one, can smash large blocks out of the way. <laughs> Kel and Hero have their own special abilities, too. Although, I'm not sure about Kel. <laughs> Just make me the leader by selecting Tag the Player menu by holding space. You'll get rid of the hunky junk easy peasy. Oh. Ah! You tagged her. Slapping. Papping your hands. Hi! Yeah! What an animation. No, uh, no. Actually, I don't need anything back there. I, as a matter of fact, I don't see anything useful back there. I mean, except for a, a tractor being thingy. I'm actually not sure what it's called. You are putting these in here just for the... Oh, I thought you were going to have a long animation for each one. No, it's, it's short. It's short and sweet. A nice little pat with a bat. Bam! Uh... Oh, wait. I can get that. Last bottle. Okay, I'm not going to get past this guy easily. Hey, he's kind of slow. Aw, oh, you suck. Oh wait, that's not the that's not the run button. Yeah! Aww. Kel is digging through trash and didn't find anything. Old ways of communication. If you guys didn't know what dial-up phones were like, I grew up with this. Well, kind of. I kind of grew up with it. Chocolate. No, dang it, no. Mori blocked the way. Everyone blocked the way. Run! Yes, you guys helped me. You guys did wonderful. Oh! Oh, I found it! It was supposed to be found. It wasn't supposed to be hard to find. Hi. Are you someone to talk to? Hey, Mr. Conveyor Bot. Switch up the conveyor belts of us already. You can ask nicely. Mm. Rude person. You can't just yell orders at people, Kel. Jeez, have some tact, will you? No, no. There's no need to be fuss. I'll handle this. Tag me, Amori. His special ability is kindness. Most likely. Hmm. <laughs> Such sweetness. Aw. He has charm. <clears throat> Three different conveyor box. My companions and I require your assistance by changing directions of your conveyors. Will you, uh, uh, will you and your friends please help us? Mmm. Ah. Uh, mmm. Nice person. Okay. Now, you can be polite, but you don't have to be that charming. I feel like that's a... Uh... Oh! This is a flashback to Pokemon. Oh, guys, if you, any of you have played Pokemon Red and Blue? Like I have in the past. <laughs> this is a, this is a, this is such a flashback of that. 
Got Comet Hammer. <gasps> oh, new weapon. Well, what am I just being surprised or happy about? Why am I... Why am I happy of getting a weapon? Can I change it from a knife? No. It's his, it's his signature choice. It is going to be a knife regardless. Stuffed toy to Comet Hammer. I'm, I'm just gonna check it. Can I choose this to be on anyone? No. At least not Kel or Amori. Can I choose it to you? No. Weapons are specifics. All right, so let's see. Stuffed toy makes a wedding dangling punch sound. It improves attack by two and luck by two. What a lucky five. All right, your toy no longer has to be a beating utensil. Nothing. Spectacles. Glasses ghost looks around aimlessly as if it's lost. Aww. You just have to look at him. Flick the hair, and, and you're good. Can I, can I speak this up a little bit? I asked your butt. We... Now just don't touch that conveyor belt because you're going to be locked into animation. Oh! Oh no! Put it back! Put it back! Unless I'm gonna put it in the recycling bin later. Wait, these vending machines still work? Why would the vending machines still work in the junkyard? Alright, I'll go this way. Oh, 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 this way. What's the pink one? Oh, the pink conveyors. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh. Oh. Need help? Without being out? Oh no, it's the jam man. Life jam guy. The Kool-Aid man in our universe is now the jam life jam guy. Oh no. Hey kids, I'm the life jam guy. I said life jam. It really works. Would you like a free demo? Sure. Oh no. Oh, oh, the, oh, that, I think he, I feel like I know what he wants to show a demo of. He's gonna knock us clean out, and then he's gonna go, Here, just slap this, I'm gonna slap this jam on one of your friend's dead faces, and he'll be right as rain. <laughs> oh no. Uh. Sure. Is he happy? I can't tell. Uh, fight, uh, the skill, um, sad form, I... Sad poem. You. Attack with your new meteor shot. Skill, annoy, uh, 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 Aubrey. And you're gonna slap him with your spatulas. Up, Jeff Guy turns everyone to toe. Oh. There was Aubrey did not survive. Life Jam Guy uses Life Jam. It really works. I should have thought that's what the demo was. You got Life Jam. You got Life Jam. And you got Life Jam. Use Life Jam. Aubrey gains three four hearts. What a better, wonderful benefits of Life Jam. That is... Uh, that, um... I don't like this demo. I do not like this demo. This guy is... This guy is cruel. Life Jam benefits. Enjoy your free samples! Goodbye now. I don't like you. We are now fragile as beans. How'd you like my free demo? I hated it! I'm kidding. I know you love- No, you- You want to spread some left jam on yourself? <laughs> I think this guy's invincible, actually. Because <laughs> if you take him down, he just spreads himself all over himself and he's back to normal. I don't think he can beat this guy. <laughs> oh. I can see he still hurts. Uh, no worries, I'll heal you. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. I think we just ate a bit of him. He spread his... He spread himself on our toasted bodies. And then we ate a portion of him. Yuck. 
Very good, yeah. Now, would you like to buy some left jam? It'll only cost you 250 quid. No, no, no. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Haha, <laughs> that's okay. You'll need it later. And then he pops out of nowhere and slaps us back inside the head, and then you go, Looks like you're gonna need some lap jam before that wound uh, I inflicted. Now's the time for you to actually buy some. Got a junkyard key. Oops, I keep pressing the wrong button. I keep pressing the wrong button for my runs. So guys, give, give me your opinion. What is your guys' thoughts on lap jam guy? Oh. I don't like this. Okay, I'm just gonna walk in here so it's a shorter animation. All right, I'll skip this. And we're off to a great start. <laughs> Use the junkyard key like a temple. Oh, it has a nice jingle to it. Now, here's my here's what I want to bring up with this and with Zelda series when it, with those that had keys in it for dungeons and such. What are you guys' thoughts on that? You, you use the key, and it just, like, eats the key? Breaks the key? What's your thoughts on that? Why is... For game mechanics, I understand. You can't just use one key to uh, you open everything. But... What happens to the key? Does it just get absorbed into the lock? Does it snap? What is it? A photo of someone familiar. Hey, I remember seeing a familiar photo of someone I know about. Some from somewhere. And our neighbor's playhouse. You got a light. I think he's. T I think he's. Uh, I think he left some behind. Is this your home, or did someone not like what you did and show their, their act in kind to how you show yours? And just threw it on the wayside. Okay. Wait. Can I? Can I, can I drive cars? Okay. We're kids. Can't drive cars. Run the stairs, run past! <laughs> oh god! Run! <laughs> I don't have to keep editing. Uh, editing out the battles scenes. Lemonade. Nice. Alright, we're out! No. No, what's this? No, nothing? Is this another life jam? No, it's, it's a cup. Can we not pick up that jar? Uh... <gasps> oh! Man! What'd you gloss that turkey with? Now that's a ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba that I would not mind hearing. I don't want to eat any more jam. <laughs> not from Jam Guy. Let's talk to her then. Hi everyone. Hope you're all enjoying yourselves. I cleared out the junk and found a perfectly good roast chicken. Where? We found ramen in the toilet. Where'd you find that chicken? What did we eat? What did you serve us? See, Amori? Cleaning has its benefits. Yep. I need to set an example for my sometimes messy little brother. Do you want to have a picnic, friends? Yeah! Before we, before we save off for the day. Ah, uh, this place is still gross and stinky. I've went to a junkyard once with my dad, uh, and... Oh, it stunk so bad. And of course, it would. It's it's garbage, everything. All the rotting stuff. Anyone who's a garbage man, I applaud you for doing the work. I'm not sure what exactly happens at the junkyard. Because, where does it go? Things don't just vanish. But anyways. Uh, this place is so crazy. Okay, my nose can't take it anymore. What's the rush, Aubrey? There's no... Much, there's so much treasure around here. I'm gonna uh, swipe as many cans as I can find. Oh, and then afterwards we should recycle them at the recycling machine. I'm sure we passed one on the way to Space Boyfriend's place. Uh, forget cans. We can find that special mixtape and get out of here. Aw, hang in there, Aubrey. You'll get past this. If anything, just think about all the good recycling we'll do for the environment. Yeah, come on, Aubrey. Do it for the environment. This junkyard jam is awesome. 
Not, not that Junkyard Jam. That jam was horrible. That jam was an awful guy. But the jam as in the music feels. Now that's something we can we all agree is awesome. Got another can. And now it's time to say. Which is it? Yeah. It's been like, this is actually a 36 minute from what I got. And I don't think of anything. I, there's only one to two cuts I might want to do. Probably just one. But I love this. I love this. And if you guys are here on episode eight, you guys must love it too. Or just curious on the on the story. Or my reaction to the story. Whatever it may be. Thank you guys for stopping by. And until I see you guys again. Have a great day, everyone.